Hello and welcome everybody to NBA Radio. I'm Christian Junta, joined by Peyton Ryan and Drew Stahl. And today we're going to be talking about the Utah Jazz and their star duo, Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell. Who should stay? Who should go? Peyton, what do you think? Yeah, I don't think they're going to be a duo anymore. That's kind of obvious. But I feel like Gobert is um, more replaceable than Mitchell. There's a ton of big men out there that you could replace Gobert with. Mitchell has a more unique skill set that you can't really – like teach or replace so that's I, I have Gobert getting traded instead of Mitchell she said Peyton over here said Rudy Gobert defensive multiple time defensive player of the year is very replaceable Drew what do you think about that honestly I think they're a good enough duo they don't need to be replaced you already have a guard and a center combination this team can work both of these players can still work together I know ever since that whole Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell fallout in the bubble um, and early in March of 2020, these guys can still work together. This is a good duo, and they can win with these guys. And I know we're talking about the Utah Jazz right now, but some other big NBA news coming right up. The 76ers have traded up to the first overall pick, number one overall in this Thursday's draft. There's no specifics on who they're giving back, but you'd have to figure some kind of package including picks, some kind of star, maybe maybe even Embiid, maybe Harden, maybe Thibel, but ultimately they're going to wind up with one of the big three, and it's going to be their choice between Jabari Smith, Chet Holmgren, and Paolo Bancaro. So, Peyton over here, what do you think of the Sixers trading up, and who do you think they should take? Um, so, I am, like, really big on Chet Holmgren right now. Um, like, he's just really good. I've seen some highlights, and, like, he could – honestly, I see – I see a potential for him to be one of the best players of the next generation in the NBA. Um, I really, like, that said, I don't really like this move for Philadelphia, depending on, like, uh, well, it'll depend on what exactly what they give up. Uh, can't wait to uh, see the details of this. Uh, I swear to God, if they give up and beat, uh, please don't. Um, but I just don't want them to do that. I hope that they actually made a smart decision and gave up somebody that's like like less valuable to the team like Thibel or maybe like a guy that like they they don't need multiple of like guys like Korkmaz like Nian's already there either way um it dep- uh depending on who they gave up and who they pick I mean Jabari and uh Paolo could, could also be good but either way uh interesting move can't wait to see the specifics on this all right, thank you for your opinion, Peyton. Just drew real quick out of the big three, who the Sixers taking? I think they should take Chet, and especially I think trading up for the first pick, they're going to be giving away some big, big role players. I maybe even Harden. They're going to need some guy who's really going to be a good post presence and score. If you have Embiid and Chet on your team, they're they're going to be good. And trading up for the first pick, I did not see this coming. All right, guys, thank you for your opinion. This has been NBA Radio with Peyton Ryan and Drew Stahl. I'm Christian Junta.